and we're live. Hello, world. <laughs> Hi, we're, this is the International Art Alliance. Today's Thursday, October 6th. Maybe it's October 7th, where Cheryl is. Cheryl's in Australia, and she's a painter and does beautiful, uh, well, love where you live paintings. I don't really know. They're, they're not landscapes exactly. They're big, juicy, watery, <laughs> fantasy, watery. Yeah, real. They're incredible. They're incredible. How are you doing, Cheryl? Good. Good. What day is it today? You're in it's Sydney today. Friday. Um, I'm in Sydney um, in a hotel room. Um, yeah. Are you on holiday? Oh, I've I ripped out of the here. Are you on a holiday, Cheryl? Um, a uh, few, few days down here. Are you? Nice. Um, I'm on our life call. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. So we're getting a lot of feedback. That's because Denise is someplace really special today. Ah. Hi, Denise. Where are you? Uh, oh, sorry. I am in Toronto um, at the Latitude 44 Gallery, where my show, my solo exhibition will be opening in about two and a half hours. So oh my gosh, there's lots of action now? happening here. And you're here now to talk with I us today? I am here now. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're incredible. incredible. But in the, in the background, the gallery is still setting up and, uh, and uh, people are walking by and coming in. So it's a bit, uh, I'll try to turn off my microphone when I'm not speaking. Is there anybody that you'd like us to meet today? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, let me see. Uh, this is Janet. Janet, say hi. Hi, Janet. Hi, Janet. Hi. World, say hello to Janet. <laughs> this is uh, this is the owner of the gallery, and then the other owner is in the back. I'll, I'll see if she wants to wave. Do you want to wave live on camera? This is Marianne. Hi, how are you? Hi, Marianne. Hey, Marianne. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet what's you. The address, so, what's the address of the of the gallery in Toronto? What's the name? Uh, they're they're located on 20, 2900 Dundas Street West. Uh, and we're opening uh, at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. From 6 to 9, we're going to have a very special uh, opening night event. There will be snacks, there will be drinks, and there will be art. And I will change into my kimono, even though I am wearing a very, very special shirt today. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. Really lovely. Yeah. It's, it's, they, wow. they are... Denise, I'm going to be seeing you today. Um, I don't know if I'll be there for six, but should I should I come in my kimono or? <laughs> you can if you want to. Okay, okay. I'll be wearing one. I might be a little cold, that's, but okay. That's because Stephanie McLean, a painter in Toronto, is going to be visiting Denise in Toronto at her show. I am. And wearing a kimono or not wearing a kimono or remains to be seen. Some. Remains to be seen. We'll send some pictures. Keep an eye on my. Uh, on my Facebook page, and I'll, I'll post some pictures, so you'll get yeah. to see. Okay, yeah. Go. Oh, Hello. Rose has joined us. Hi, Rose. Hi. Thanks for being able to join us today. Yeah, thank you. Um, so, Stephanie, you have a new work in your background. No, it's an old work. The work I'm currently working on is too, too in progress to display. So I'm displaying this one. It's, a, it's an old one, but it is for sale, everyone. So oh. if you're interested. <laughs> As the original or as a print or both? No, or? as the original or a print, yeah. Original. Yeah, oh, and the cool. original. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, Ross is just uh, get, making all kinds of extra products, like making up all kinds of extra products for us to sell. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing compared to what Cheryl could do for you, believe me. So, um, <laughs> Rose, how's it going today? How are you today? It's been a bit of a rough patch here. We, we can't hear you, Rose. Maybe take yourself off mute, or you're actually not even on mute. I was sorry. There, there you are. Hi, hey, everyone from uh, Chilliwack today. Um, Chilliwack is a Stolo Nation area, just so everybody knows. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a bit of a challenging day for us today over here, but um, glad to be with you guys. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Is your family in Chilliwack? Here. Uh, yes, a lot of my family are in Chilliwack. Yes. Okay. Great. Great. I'm glad you're with your family today. Yeah. Thank you, Rose. And we have Laura Spadetto coming to us from the United <laughs> Kingdom in Buckinghamshire. And I can, can never remember exactly where in Buckinghamshire you, you're at. But, Buckingham. Uh, Buckingham, not Buckingham. No, Buckingham. There you go. Like, what is that like a county seat or something like that? And um, Laura has just um, published a brand new volume of, is this part of a three volume 
kind of a uh, series? It's a series, or? yeah, it's a series. Uh, it's a second one of the series of three books. And the first one was called? Uh, Let go of what hurts you. Let go of and what hurts you. Money. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and the second one is? Plan a future that sets you free. Plan a future that sets you free. Let's go. Okay. How do we do that? I want, I want to be free. I want yeah, to be free. Let's be together. <laughs> so is this, is this something that you can talk about or is it like we have to read it and do exercises in order to, to get the... No, I can talk uh, because um, I, uh, I thought about it, uh, about the subject from my three books uh, in this uh, past year, probably also because of COVID and because of many things. So it was um, like a path that I, I follow. And uh, uh, the first one was uh, because it's, uh, sometimes we are trapped in what uh, made in our pain. And, uh, and when you can get out of your pain, you have to look at your future and try to, um, to see a bright future. Because we can have a bright future, but uh, we have to envision it. If you don't envision a, 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 a bright future, you cannot have it. You cannot plan to reach it. And uh, so um, I, I, in the book, I wrote what I done during also my uh, this year because I, I had a very big change in my life last year so um, I had in some way tried to uh, uh, create uh, a new path that uh, has to be different right. from before so um, many things has to change and there is also a third, uh, third one uh, that there will be next month probably. <laughs> nice. Oh, that that's soon. How cool! And these are available just as a little plug for before we go any further. This is available through Amazon. Amazon, book? Yes. Amazon uh, uh, Kindle or print uh, version. It's uh, um, yeah available on Amazon. Wow, that's so cool. Well, uh, you know, if you've ever, if anybody's ever written a book or an article. Like that's one thing, and then to actually like put it out there, that's like a whole other kind of thing. So Laura, I've got a couple of questions for you. I'm sure we all have some questions for you. My first question is, did you use your techniques in order to produce this, this work? It's a good question. Uh, I use uh, my book to remind me sometimes uh, what I have to do, because uh, what I find uh, that uh, usually, in the daily routine, we forget what we know. We already know that we uh, um, we have to do, or um, what it would be worth or healthy for us to do. For example, everybody knows that uh, uh, continuing to think about bad things is is worse. It, it's uh, something not healthy for our soul, for our body, for our mind. We know it. It's not something new, but uh, sometimes we are like uh, uh, trapped in this uh, um, whirlpool, and uh, so uh, just uh, trying to find some tricks uh, to exit from this whirlpool, from this uh, 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 torment. Yeah, oh. could be useful and. Uh, Planning, yes, also planning because I'm really um, I need to plan to do everything because uh, my mind is. Alive. I think uh, you. Uh, I, I I don't know uh, if all artists are like are like this, but um, uh, having every every day so, so many ideas, so many things, uh, and I I get distracted uh, often during the day. Or uh, so, so I'm stuck in uh, doing something and think, oh, just and so I get distracted and I stop it. Something else. So I need to plan to um, uh, know what I have to do for this next month or uh, in the next six months, in the next year. 
and I, I, I can see that it's um, uh, it's a relief some, sometimes. And also, it's important to see what would you have done before, because uh, the other thing is that sometimes uh, I think, oh, I'm I'm not doing enough because I I, I think uh, I, I'm I feel overwhelmed uh, about all the things that I have to do, and so having the trace of what I've done yesterday, what I've done in the week before, make me feel, yeah, okay, I have a lot to do, but I have done a lot until now. So uh, it's, uh, it's in, in a way to, to, to keep my mind safe. <laughs> yes, it sounds kind of like it's a, um, a built-in encouragement system, like you mm -hmm. see what you've done Yes, um, yes, an encouragement. Um, I, I, I was I, uh, probably I start thinking about it because I is in a way how I also um, grow up my children. Um, uh, I don't know. Probably I'm going out uh, from the scheme of, about planning, but uh, in the uh, book, what I'm saying that you can do whatever you want. It's because. I think it's really like this. It, it, it depends what you are going to um, uh, agree to. to um, uh, how you, I can say to, um, to 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 do to do to, to reach what you want. If you want just to um, uh, to be safe, you can stay in your little comfort zone and be safe and but you cannot uh, then after say oh I, I haven't done nothing but i'm safe uh, you, you cannot complain yeah and uh, one other little thing that i'm i'm uh, saying in the book is uh, you have to take responsible responsibility or of, of your action because uh uh, I don't like uh, to blame other others about what I'm not, what I haven't done before, because you have the choice. And so, yeah, more or less, <laughs> this is a, like a, a summary, a very rough summary. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Uh, one one thing that I discovered because I I've always uh, like writing I I like to play with the words like I play I like to play with the colors uh, it's a, probably it's a way of a way of express myself but uh, before I I just wrote um, like little poem and um, because I found very. Um, uh they helped me to express with the words and to play with the words before was just in italian and then i because obviously it's my my my, my safe space to, to 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 write in italian um but then i decide to uh to make this big step and to write in, um, I, I'm writing in Italian and then translating in English every time, every chapter, every paragraph. And uh, when I uh, write uh, in, in, uh, in the translation, I check the sound of the words, not just the meaning. Because uh, also in Italian, when I write, I check how, when I pronounce the, the um, the words, how I feel inside. So also in English, um, I try to find. Obviously, then there is the editor that made the correction <laughs> about the the grammar, the punctuation, uh, everything that probably I now that uh, two times I get wrong. But uh, so um, I don't remember why I I went here. <laughs> so. Um, Ah no, yes, uh, uh, and I find uh, some similarity with the painting, and I think you can be agree with me. Um, when I paint, if I paint today something, it will be in some way. If I paint the same thing tomorrow or next week, it will be different. And I discovered this writing 
because uh, sometimes I write something and then the day after would be I would change or maybe uh, I, I, I said oh I write this sentence that I think it's really it's perfect for what I, I, I want to say so sometimes I, uh, I, uh, I'm surprised how my my mind and my thinking about the same thing uh, change it's not it's not that our mind it's like a stagnant and fixed mm -hmm. in uh, also in what we believe we strongly believe but the way that we express ourselves uh, it's uh, it can be different depends on the mood the weather the circumstances the um, and so also with the painting is the same uh, i need to to paint when i'm in the inspiration now moment and uh, this is difficult sometimes <laughs> yeah there's definitely something about about um making art that just by definition takes us out of these safe spaces so that we'll expand mm. and 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 otherwise we're not really creating we're just sort of maybe copying or something yeah that's hey, you, so you guys... true that's so true it makes you expand your limits all yeah. the time otherwise we're just doing a repeat of what we did before yeah, yeah. and then it doesn't feel emotionally satisfying there's this mm. point at which you start to feel restless or I don't know what the word is, but there's a tension that there's the tension of walking outside of our limits and and doing as you say, Lara, and and challenging our 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 habits and our thought patterns, yeah. whether it's planning our day or planning our painting, it, it, it's to challenge it at all times because when we co become complacent, there's a tension there too yeah Beautiful. it's either one or the other right i yeah. i love what you were talking about lara it's really touched me because i've been um i've been talking about all of those issues with my son lately my 25 year old son very much and and really like he's finally seems to be receptive to the concept of if you want to accomplish things you cannot focus on the obstacles right yeah at all times, there will be obstacles. Mm -hmm. Doesn't even matter if it's just the rain comes down and soaks whatever you're carrying. There will be obstacles. And if, as you say, Laura, if that's what we put our minds to, oh gosh, it was so hard. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so hard. Everything is so difficult all the time. It's true. Those things are true. Yeah. <laughs> but equally it's true that what you plan and accomplish every day is the measure of what we do not what we think we should do right. yeah 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 i totally agree and uh, uh what you were saying made me think about something that i said to my son like last week i think and I was talking about um, exactly what uh, you were talking to your son. And I say something that uh, come out uh, and he was totally agree. And I, I, I said to him, you will have problem. You will have obstacle, uh, of course. But think if your life would be without problem, without obstacle, would be boring. so boring, boring. We don't we want to learn. learn. We wouldn't learn anything. Yes, exactly. So the problem sometimes are something that, um, the, um, yeah, it's uh, it, it's hard, but it's what it, uh, we need to to grow. And to grow. there are blessings in advance, blessings in disguise, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and I love your idea. I'm going to really encourage my son to try that whole idea of when you write it down and you do the tick. The check, yeah. Write it. The day you're so discouraged, you can feel that sense of accomplishment yes. and remind yourself about your own accountability and how 
it grows into something that feels good. Right. Yes. Love it. Thank you for sharing that with us, Lara. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, 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 about this, uh, if I can say also, I, I've i made also a, a planner and um, and the, in the planner, I made that every every week uh, you have to check what you uh, there is the, the beginning of the week where, where you write what you have to do, the, um, the more uh, important and the less less important and at the end of the week it's important also to check what you have done because it's something that it's uh, it's done uh, it's part of your background <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. i will actually make if we did a visual one if we yeah. actually did something visual for artists yeah. and if we actually made it scrolly and pretty Use some of our artworks. Yeah. See, did the what? IAA one. Cheryl's yeah. got another product for yes. us. <laughs> yes. Yes. New product. New product. Um, Yay. We'll be with, with Denise's um, image on her t shirt and how we could have all these wonderful things. I wonder what she's thinking because this could be you and how are you going to progress? And I don't know. Couldn't that be fun? I mean, visualize. I mean, I do it, it visual with our yeah. images. Yeah. Um, you know, with all the lovely check sheets and all the little bubbles and all the little pieces that we had, you know, that visual verbal. Anyway. Yeah. Laura, Laura, have you ever people done that? Are more visual than written, and some people are more more words than, I mean, we all respond to it differently, right? So I love that idea. Laura, have, yeah. you, done, have you done that before? Have you made a visual, I don't know, a map, oh. a visual plan pic pictorially? I need visual. I need, I need to see in front of me uh i need to see uh to, to see that right also with uh with image oh so you do both you'll have the words and the images yeah we on, could have on, stickers on yeah. stickers in the back of the book and when you've passed you get the sticker <laughs> no, <it's a> book. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end it's a work of art <laughs> because look at roses sort of like can you imagine getting a bird and then stick you know a stick i'm sticking now i'm going Finish that, finish that, finish that. Nice. I love that. <laughs> I'm, I'm all about lists. I will actually make lists that I will write the stuff that I've actually already accomplished just to have the satisfaction of checking it off. And <laughs> it Scientifically proven, you can get the, what is it called? Dopamine? Yeah. Dopamine like rush? Brain chemistry. Yeah. 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 That is so clever. I love that. <laughs> Well, I'm, a, I'm a Montessori kid, so we get we uh, from, oh, from a very little onwards. I learned how to plan my work first for like a couple of days, then for a week, then for like a whole semester. So oh, I've always worked with lists. Lists are my thing, man. <laughs> well, that explains a lot then, because you are, I dare say, the most organized among us. Yes. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Proof is in the pudding. Let's have a couple minutes to talk about your show. Sure. <laughs> we can do that. Yeah. Awkward silence. Sorry, I'm trying to get myself off of mute, but. <laughs> yes. You want to see? Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes? Okay. Yes. Let me take you around a bit. So let's start at the end because that's where I like to start. There we go. I'm going to do it like this. I'll walk backwards. There we go. So pretty. Yeah, it's really nice. And I hit here we have a whole, they made a whole flasher with all uh, washi oh, paper prints. pieces. Oh, beautiful. No, oh, these are nice original. Washi? Yeah, these are on washi. Oh, these so they're not prints. Pieces. Oh, no, 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 these are beautiful. originals. Okay. There are prints in there too. And then over here, we actually have a, a set of washi pieces that have been framed beautifully Lovely. by the gallery. Oh yeah, those look great framed. Really nice. Yeah. And then these, these are my favorite walls. Look. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Are, are they these, awesome? Are these on canvas or are they on um, panels or what's the substrate? What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Denise isn't answering, so I'll answer. 
You know? Wow, well, Denise, it looks amazing. It does. I was saying they are on wood panel. They're wood panels. <laughs> yes. No, we couldn't Thank hear you. Thank you. So. Oh yeah, Stunning. sorry. I I I actually unmuted myself. Oh, it looks really <laughs> nice, Denise. I'm looking forward Thank to seeing you it yeah. in person. Yay! I'm I'm really look at that big one behind you on the easel. That's looking great. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. one. That, that these two are the ones that I couldn't get varnish for, and I had this whole varnish adventure where I had to try um, uh, an experimental varnish, and I ran into some issues, and then I had to re-varnish, and oh my gosh, it was a whole thing. But they're here. They're a little stinky, but they're here. <laughs> I thought I smelled something. That's why you should call it a massage because they literally put the varnish on, and that opening right. night was right. very stinky. Well, there's a little bit of that. <laughs> they drank it. <laughs> <laughs> overwhelm the senses and like not smell the varnish and then they start drinking the varnish and then everything yeah. goes down. <laughs> I always um I always say to my students they've always got to put the lids on the gamisole because when you smell it it actually causes artist block. Oh. <laughs> that <is inconvenient. laughs> That's hilarious. I love it. Uh, it's not carcinogenic. It causes artists. <laughs> oh, the well works. then, then I'll, then I'll definitely put the lid on. Yeah. That's fine. Just to conform to that. Denise, I love how cohesive everything looks hung in this one yeah. big place. It's just well, like it's a, an adventure. Because this is actually all of the Japanese work all together, which wow. usually I'll, I'll present a mix of different cities, but because this is a celebration of me, my time in Japan and me coming back here, uh, we, this is all Japanese work. It's called Memories of Japan, the show, and it's, I have not seen all of these pieces together like this ever. So it's very special for me. Oh my God. I feel it's very happy here because yeah. all these are my favorite memories. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice. Did you send an invitation to the local Japanese cultural center? I did. I sent, um, I, we actually sent an invitation to the uh, Japanese embassy and some of their uh, members are coming. Unfortunately, the uh, consul general had a uh, previous engagement, but we, we are expecting the Dutch consul general to uh, visit us tonight. So that is very exciting. Yeah. Thank you. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm wondering if you could show us one piece and kind of talk us through it and, and tell us about your experience with it. I can do that. Let me see which which one shall I pick. Um, oh gosh, which one shall I pick? <laughs> and the okay. buyers will have the same I'll, problem. I will go, I will go here. <laughs> let me yeah. let me go uh, to these ladies over. You're on mute. Sorry. It's called Summer Sanctuary, this piece. And it reminds me of um, that in the south of Aichi province where I lived, there was this mountain called Horaiji Sun. And uh, in the summer, it's super hot and muggy in Japan. So the mountains is really the place to go. So we went hiking. And in Japan, there is very many places where they have these tiny temples that are located on the top of a mountain. So you can um, walk this path and you walk up and the moment you step into this forest, it's like walking into a fairy tale because there are these huge, huge cedar trees. They're like, you cannot put your arms around them that that's how big they are. Mm -hmm. And they are covered in moss and then you walk up this path and because you're walking towards the temple, the path is actually aligned with these tiny, like uh, Buddha statues. They're all covered in moss and then you'll, come across these like nice rounded red bridges you know the ones you've probably seen them in pictures so i really felt like i was walking into this magical forest and then of course there were like a thousand steps because they love their stairs <laughs> so we had to climb like a thousand steps but at the end there was a tiny temple and we we had an amazing view over the mountains and and that's what this painting reminds me of sort of the, the big trees and the temple at the end and then of course there is the jido hanbaiki as they call it the vending machine which you find there's even one on the top of mount fuji oh that's not the temple that's the vending machine this is a vending machine <laughs> yes the temple is over here oh uh, i thought that was the there's, tiny there's, temple um, actually hot and cold drinks. The, the red here uh, marks that there's um, hot drinks. So you can actually get hot coffee, hot tea, and hot soup. 
Wow. And then there's cold drinks like uh, Coca-Cola and Pocari Sweat, which is like an energy drink. And uh, tea, there's lots of green tea, iced and warm, and burnt tea, and like a, a, a wide variety of tea, I would say. <laughs> and one time we had this, because they have all kinds of weird drinks in there, because of, so of course you want to try those. And <laughs> we thought it was like apple juice, but it turned out there was like jelly inside. So you had to oh. shake it up, and it was like you, you had these little clumps oh of jelly inside your drink. <laughs> it was very weird. Tapioca, uh, kind of? I don't know. No, there were not. It was just like a, a clump of jelly that you needed to shake oh. up, and it was like you were drink, drinking pudding. It was really weird. Oh. <laughs> well, I love how you've been able to compress um, time and cultural influences in this one piece, and then your use of color. Um, like it creates the um gosh it, it's not it's harmonious but it's like saying that there are these two different places i mean you really yeah. managed to pack a lot of a lot of stuff in a very simple flowing harmonious format with little color and 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 a lot of this um imagery it's really incredible thank you for telling us about this one thank what do you, you. Call, what do you call this one this is called summer sanctuary summer sanctuary yes I, I appreciate I, I, in your work, Denise, that it's 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 beautiful to look at, but it's not just decor. That that yeah. your work yeah. evokes the emotion um, that you felt when you were there, but also you you have a kind of a concise, um, unique cultural perspective, and and you're able to kind of convey that with such respect of the cultures that you're visiting. I, I really appreciate that that you Thank reflect you. that in your work. Thank you so much. That's really important to me because I find that the way I experience the world by oftentimes living somewhere uh, for a longer period of time, I, I don't see myself necessarily as a, a citizen of, a, of a one, one country anymore. I, I very much see myself as a citizen of the world and I very much see both the differences and the similarities in all of our cultures and we're all humans and we're all and that's really what i like to convey to people like look at at these paintings and the, and the, the beauty that people are uh surrounding themselves with and we do that here but we also do that people over there do that as well we are so similar in in that way that we all look for our environment and our our surroundings to be beautiful and and harmonious so that's uh that's very important to me thank you for that rose mm -hmm. congratulations yes We've congratulations got... denise thank you thank you Love on your show. thank you <laughs> for, uh, for how many how many days uh, the, it it's be, on uh, it's open tonight and it's on till november 10th nice then okay yeah so uh a little uh almost a month a little over a month Yes. You'll see everyone in the Toronto area. Yes. Come and see us. Yes. 2900 Dundas Street West. Okay. I'll be there. Very close <laughs> to the street. Take pictures, Stephanie. Take pictures. I will. I will. I'll post oh, lots. Multiple. Multiple. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Or reels or something? Great. Yeah. How exciting. Yeah, too. Oh. <laughs> I think we've come to the end of our time today. I want to thank everybody in the world for joining us and hearing what we have to say. I hope you buy Laura Spadetto's book online at Amazon. It's available for you to free your life and come see Denise's show in Toronto. And if you come tonight, you'll have snacks and art <laughs> and people. Like and you'll be able to see me in a kimono <laughs> or a yukata, I you say. Kimono. So. Maybe, you'll, maybe you'll see Stephanie in a kimono too, okay. or maybe in a kimono t-shirt, or maybe in her other special clothes. And um, well, I want to wish you all a, a very good week, and we'll see you next week on our Facebook Live. Chair, we're not on Facebook anymore, are we? We're on Google. Yep. No, on Facebook. Do? Yeah, Facebook, Facebook yes. Live, yes. I don't yes. know what channel we're on, but we're there for you. So come <laughs> back anytime and listen to what we have to say and ask us questions. We love your questions, and we'll we look forward to to meeting again and uh, showing what's going on in our worlds. And we'd love to hear from you. Okay, thank and you, last, everybody. Thank you for hosting. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yes, yes. So good Bye. to see you all today. I love good you all. Bye. 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 Oh.
have to turn that off. <laughs> Here we go. End.